Hi everyone, today we're going to have a go at the barbed wire paracord bracelet. This one's a little bit complicated, but I'll go through it slowly and hopefully you should be able to follow along. I'm using two pieces of paracord to make this one today. One piece is two meters long or around about six and a half feet and the other piece is 135 centimeters long or around about four and a half feet and I just want to put them together like this with the longer strand on the left side and the shorter strand on the right hand side and then I want to feed out a length that's equal to the length of the bracelet I want to make and then I want to give myself another 15 centimeters or so to make a button Then I just want to take this right hand strand over those two center ones, the left one over that. Then I want to take it behind and up through this right hand loop. Now I want to take this left hand strand up through that right hand loop and the right hand strand I want to tuck down through that left hand loop pull that all the way through Now we can pull this tight, not too tight, just collapse the knot down. And I just want to feed out a little section here at the top that's going to form our loop for the loop and knot closure. Now we can tighten it up, make the loop around about one centimetre long. And now I just want to cross these two center strands over so that we have alternating colors one black one yellow one black one yellow and you should find that these two center strands are the shortest ones and this right hand side should be shorter than the left hand side once you have that, we can start braiding. I want to start by taking this right hand strand underneath one and then over two and pull it to the other side. And I just want to leave a loop there on the right. Then I want to take this black left hand strand and dive it down through this gap here pull that all the way through I'm going to take it over that right hand strand And I want to take it up through this right hand loop and then down through its own loop. So up through that right hand loop, you would have formed another loop down the bottom here, down through its own loop. So you should end up looking something like that. Now to get this to look nice we need to tighten it up sequentially and I'm going to do that by first tightening up this loop here on the left just by pulling that strand down towards the back. I can close up this yellow loop here and 
and then finally take the rest of the slack out of the knot and firm the whole thing up. And now we just need to repeat the process on the other side. So we're going to take this left hand strand under one and over two just leaving a loop there at the left I'm going to take this right hand strand around and down through that gap pull that all the way through And I want to take it over that left hand strand then up through that left hand loop and through its own loop so up through that left and then down through its own loop down there and pull that all the way through And again we want to tighten this up sequentially so I'm going to start here with this right hand loop from behind I just want to tighten that one up and I can close down this loop here on the left and then finally take the slack out of the rest of the knot and firm it up And then we just need to repeat that process, so I'll show you one more time. Take this right hand strand underneath one and over two. And take this left hand strand down through this gap here. Pull that all the way through. Then I want to take it over the right hand strand up through this loop and then down through its own loop so up through that loop and down through its own loop Again we want to tighten this sequentially starting here on the left from behind I just want to pull that through close the loop here on the left and then pull the remaining slack out of the knot and firm it up Repeat on the left hand side, under one, over two, I want to take this right hand strand down this gap, pull it through, over that very left hand strand and I want to take it up through this loop and down through its own loop so up through 
that left loop and then down through its own loop here. Pull that all the way through. Again we want to tighten it sequentially starting here on the right. Just pull that tight. Close up this left hand loop and then take the remaining slack out and firm the whole lot up. And now we just want to repeat that process until we get down to the length that we like our bracelet. Once we get down to the desired length we just want to lock this in place with a couple of cobra knots and I can do that by taking that right hand strand over left hand strand over that one then behind and up through that left hand loop tighten that down and then take that left hand strand over right hand strand over behind and up through the left hand loop and tighten that down then we just need to snip and singe these stray ends here leaving these two strands down the bottom to tie a button so the button I'm going to tie for this one is a snake knot button and the way I'm going to do that is just to take this black hand strand over and behind and I'm going to take this yellow strand underneath that black one and then down through that right hand loop. Now I don't want to tighten this up all the way, I just want to keep it a little bit loose. I'm going to rotate it vertically and I'm going to double this up. So I'm just going to keep following that lead around and then up through that right hand loop and I'm going to do the same with this black strand and follow that around and then up through that left hand loop just keeping those strands nice and parallel I can slowly work this knot tight So I just need to finish tightening this up and then we can snip and singe these ends off and we should be finished. And here's the finished piece. Please share this video because that allows me to keep providing you guys with content. Thanks for watching.